Okay, am I coming through? Tell if you're serious or if you're clouding me. Ha 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 ha. Anyways, welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna remember where we last left off. Um, 
I think we're preparing for the festival and oh, hey Mags what's up you're gone for a couple weeks and this is what happens yeah pretty much it's what happens when you disappear for a couple weeks I play some weird shit well apparently this is where it starts to, uh, shit starts to go down or so I'm told so uh, is this the point where I need to have the uh, the game files up in the back? Just like where I can be able to see it? It's not Valentine's Day, Day yet. Well, I've got something else planned for Valentine's Day. It's just uh, a couple people I know wanted me to play this pretty soon. So... I don't think uh, Valentine's could have uh, waited for, uh, for this. But anyways, let's get to it. Let's see if I can remember where I left off at. Um... Okay, yeah, so we're, we're at our house, and we had a talk with uh, Sairi. Had a little heart-to-heart. -heart. She told us that uh, I think she was going through like a bit of depression. And now we're coming back to my house. We're going to meet up with... Uh, Yuri to do some uh, quote unquote school work. Valentine's Day special this year. Nice, nice. Can't wait to see that. Alright, let's get to it. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri? Ah, uh, thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Uh, were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You could have just texted me. If I had known, I'd have uh, reassured you and heard more on my way home. Uh, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. Should have been common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. Also, on a side note, um, I'm seeing OBS working fine. However, it is flash. Oh, it just flashed red just a little bit there. There might be a slight drop in frames, although I don't think you're gonna be able to notice in a game like this. But that's just a heads up. Anyways, anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Mm, yeah, pretty much. At least I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it'll be fine. My sweater. I take you to my room. Oh my. Oh my. First things he does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. Why is he gonna find my porn stash or something? It's so clean. Really? Well, I guess you probably could say that. I cleaned it before you came over, so... That's very considerate for you to do. Uh, n no. I would be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. Prepare your anus. See, you say that, and yet I don't know what I will be preparing myself for. Hang on, uh, I gotta check something. I just gotta make sure that I have uh, a certain... Is it still here? Okay, yeah, good, still here. Alright, just to make sure. Hmm. Oh, it's Yuri. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Um, yeah, I don't think that. I do not have. Well, I'm not using X ray vision. What kind of a perv do you take me for? Ah. Uh, that would have been even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there! I snatched Yuri's wrist, which was in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. Oh boy. Ah. Uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine. It's fine. 
I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both of her hands on firmly in her lap, as if making sure she's keeping track of them. The question is, what the hell was in that desk? So, um... Should we, uh, <coughs> get started? Ah, uh, yes. I have a few things planned that you can help me with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements? You know, mood lighting, aromatherapy candles. What the f- Mood lighting? Oh, wow. I didn't know you were planning on taking it that far. Of course. Wanted to help take our guests to a faraway place. Oh, okay. That's for the festival, not for this situation. Although many will stop by just out of curiosity. And for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's, that's great. It's easy to forget you're in a pretty intense person. Uh, intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. It's something that I like about you, actually. Is that so? That makes me feel relieved. And kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. You can relax a little. Relax. I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh yeah? Like what? Let's see... Yuri rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder shaped object. Heh. I did some shopping on the way here, so I happen to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. Eh? I think that would be amazing, don't you? What the hell are you planning, Yuri? Uh, yeah, that would be really neat. What's that wooden thing, though? Oh, this? It's a diffuser for essential oils. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? Uh, not familiar at all. Huh, is that so? It's one of my favorite contributions to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. First time playing? Yes, yes it is. So, no spoilers, please. If I ask for any help or any tips, I'll let you guys know, but for the most part, just uh, sit back, grab a drink and a snack, and enjoy the show. Also, welcome to the stream. You can feel it permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Yuri, ta Yuri takes the cylinder and pushes a switch on the bottom. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to sprout through a small hole on the top. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? This is a jasmine essential oil. <laughs> Excuse me. It smells a little sweet and, sweet and flowery, right? Uh, yeah, that's a good way to describe it. I chose jasmine for the event because it provides more of a... more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. Um, yeah, also apparently, I, I think I seem to remember hearing that Jasmine also acts as an aphrodisiac. That's just me. That along with, um, what's the other one? Lavender. Although that's just what I've heard. Not really going on, don't, don't, quote, me, don't quote me on this. You'll feel warmer, and your heart pounds more heavily. Jesus Christ. Don't you think that will be perfect for sharing our poems? I think it we'll would be sharing more than just poems. It does sound suitable. But you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with anything. 
Yuri smiles gently and in, clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Um, yeah, I have it over here. We won't be using the paper for holding origami. What I'd like to do is to write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. Oh, yeah? What will those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then we can fasten the paper into ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Doorway curtain. Wait, did I say that right? Yeah. Doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? Would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. It may attract some to peek inside. That's really creative. I had no idea you'd be good at this. Oh, uh, Yuri. Is that so? Hang on. So, well, I suppose I do get a little t intense, as you'd put it. <laughs> Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Is it just me, or is it is it is it just me, or is she more relaxed than when it's just the two of us? Or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's a marker, John. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Oh, alright. Sitting on the floor together, two of us get to work. I carefully draw a char different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. God, yes, that sounds like me. getting spammed with here. What was all that about? A dude griefing. Oh boy. Hope he didn't say anything. I was just like, I saw it out of the corner of my eyes like a bunch of hearts. Everything alright? Oh, yeesh. Oh, thank you for that. Hang on, what's going on here? Just don't scroll up. Duly noted. Thank you. Once he was banned, all the all the messages are deleted. Well, I just see... Uh, yeah, I can still see them. They're just, like, crossed out and dark. I'm not going to scroll up, so thank you for that. Anyways. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to des her desired length. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. pocket knife. Not not a pair of scissors. Eh? The knife is strangely beautiful. A silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves etched onto it. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Uh, well, 
Embarrassed, Yuri looks away. What is it? Is she going to think it's weird? Whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know? God, I say that all the time. If you promise you won't be weirded out... Yeah, I promise. Alright. Thing is, I'm kinda into knives. Well, that's interesting. That's very interesting. Also, hello, Shadow. Thank you for jo uh, joining us. We're doing good. Things are getting rather interesting. I'm not exactly weirded out, because I do like knives myself, so... They're just so... pretty. Although, how she's taking it, it I'm a little bit concerned. I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship and the feeling of danger, maybe. Oh, what am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. <laughs> You're laughing at me. No, no, I'm not laughing at you. Yeah, I am. It's just funny how nervous you get bad about sharing. You got about sharing. Well, an interesting thing to be into, I guess. I have many knives, both flip and full tanto. Yeah, I've got a couple too. I've got a um, I have like two uh, flip knives and two fixed blades. One of them's like smooth blade. The other one has a um, it's kind of like a Rambo knife, kind of. Although I don't really use it that much. It's more of a novelty item. Well, it's an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it kind of suits you. How does that suit you? Suits me. Yeah, it's kind of intense, so Jesus Christ. Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. Can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Yuri relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Oh, that's gonna go so wrong. Sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me. I take it, turn it, in my, turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife with my index. Oh, don't do that! I feel the point of the knife with my index finger. Ow! John, why'd you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touched it at all. It's my fault. I should have warned you. The knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like it's paper. What is that, a scalpel? Oh no. A small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. He takes my hand and gives the wound a close to look. Ah. She stares at it and notice noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Ah! Without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the wound. Uh-huh. Right. I feel her cr tongue curl around my finger. <laughs> yeah, this is a major red flag. I, I don't know what the hell's going on. Startled, I instinctively pull my hand back. Oh, oh. please forgive me. <laughs> Can I get out of here and kick her out of the house? I wasn't thinking. Oh, I, she's probably secretly a vampire if she's doing that. I. Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri. That's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. Yeah, you damn right it is. How could I do something like that? Um, I don't know. Vampire urges? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh... Sure, it was a little weird. A LITTLE! And it took me by surprise. But I guess he was trying to help, right? 
Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little. What little minor personality? Call that minor? I blame Shadow for the weird weirdness. <laughs> oh, good lord, things are really escalating, aren't they? Oh, she doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? Alright, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. Lord Jesus Christ. I take Yuri's hand. <sighs> and lick her index finger in return. What the fuck is going on? Am I seriously gonna need this? Am I? Am I gonna need this sensor screen? Oh, Jesus Christ. John! Did you really just do that? Now we're even. Yuri really looks at me like I did something wrong. Oh, <laughs> you don't deserve to look at me like that, for God's sake. <laughs> I knew that would be a bad idea. If not for the sweet aroma of the jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You could probably, you could probably cut the tension with that knife very easily. I do have to admit that uh, she likes knives is kind of a turn on for me. Yeah, until she stabs you with it. You're so weird, John. That or just cuts a little nick and starts sucking your blood. Uh, if Mike says it's okay, I think you're fine staying. Don't worry. Yuri giggles shyly. Eh? Yuri calling me weird? I, I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Um... I don't think I need one, actually. Yeah, you probably sucked all the blood out. That was a tiny cut. Look, it already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. The tension is quickly lifted. We each resume our respective activities. I think... I watch Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. After we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, we lay them all out side by side. Looks better than I expected, and very effective as a door curtain. Looks great! Good thing coming up with this, Yuri. Ah, uh, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, uh, please don't say that. Am I dead yet? No. Am I weirded out? Yes. Definitely weirded out. I thought it was interesting that this girl would be interested in knives. It just took a complete turn for the weird when I nicked my finger and apparently she started sucking at it. It turned even weirder when I, like, did the same thing to her. Oh, that came out wrong. I am so sorry. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy uh, buy the paint tablets. Ah, that's right. One of the items Yuri asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint tablets. We'll need about six cups of water to put in each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. If you, the if you fill the cups too much, it would be too diluted. Taking Yuri's advice, I decided to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than full-size glasses. Put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips and then bring it back into my room. Yuri? Yes? I come in to see Yuri quickly, quickly unrolling her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm. Nothing. Your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Uh, no, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so let's mix the paint. 
Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into cups. So, I thought we would do something simple and that would look very nice. Didn't want to get water on her paint on her sleeve? No, no, she rolled it down. Down, like, like her the sleeve was rolled up and then she rolled it down. Oh no, I'm sensing another red flag here. I'd like to paint a gradient across the banner. Starting with the colors for sunrise, then daytime, then sunset, and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. I can hang it on the wall behind the podium at the front of the classroom. Ah, neat. What are you going to write? Well... It'll be more fun to, to, to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me. If you say so. After rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. Seems like one of the type of girls who has an altar in her house to some guy. Oh, yeah. Uh, are you on there? Yeah. That, that, uh, I kind of figured that from the pre previous session. Trust me, I, I've seen that. Uh, I played Yandere Simulator. Or at least the, um, the early builds of it. Yuri uses a brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as a color guide when we paint. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like the art class pro like the art class projects we had back then. It's relaxing. Ah, uh, I'm sorry if this feels too childish. Um, no, I didn't mean that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah, it is fun. I'm glad you feel that way too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself. For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. Just, I, I just like when I can spend time with one other person. Even if it's something simple like reading, it doesn't even matter if you don't talk much. Netflix and chill! Or as Chicken put it, manga and moan. Alright, I think that'll probably uh, be better suited for Natsuki. Just having a friend next to me makes things feel a little bit nicer. I think all it takes for, that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Literature and lechery, there you go. That's that's uh, That would fit for uh, Yuri. Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about things like anime and games, where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyways, I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I, I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused brush, but I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Yeah! I'm sorry! Yuri reels back, and I quif quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. No one has a VHS anymore, so do. Uh, actually, I beg to differ, I still have my VHS. And also to uh, carbon date me, I also still have my laser disc. It just startled me. That's all. Sorry, I should have asked you for uh, to get it for me. It's not your fault. Oh. Ah, your face. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Is there something on my face? Uh, yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. We did have a Betamax, although our, the one we have is old and uh, actually broke, so we got rid of it, but I still actually have a few Betamax tapes. I still have them. They're in my house. Somewhere. In like some, uh, oh god. Just enough! Right? Is that all the chat's gonna be just like weird alternate variations of what uh, Netflix and chill would probably be?
sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel, and then I dampen it with hot water. I would <laughs> I return to my room and kneel back down in front of her. Oh, jeez. Here. I pat down Yuri's face and neck with the towel. Uh, is, is something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Sorry. I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I start to retract my hand, but Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Huh? Just for a little longer. Feels really nice. Um, I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. It's almost as if she's lost in a daze, enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through slightly parted lips. What is happening? Is it the aroma of the jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? Yuri's gentle fingers wrapped around my wrist, sending a tingling sensation through my arm. Suddenly her face seems so much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Huh? Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry. I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. Oh, is that what you're calling it? I didn't mean to space out. It, it's fine. The moment is over as soon as it began. Yuri picks up her brush again, but the moment seems cl her movement seems clumsier, like she's unable to focus. I remain silent, forced to ignore the event that just happened. Oh, believe me, I, I tend to remind her quite a number of times. Preaching to the choir there. I hesitantly remove my own brush, or treat my own brush, and continue, to continue following Yuri's example. That should do it. I finish filling the night sky with white dots till it... Oh, excuse me. That looks like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you gonna add the lettering now? Uh, not yet. It needs to dry first. Uh, that's true. But won't that take a while? Well, perhaps it would be best to leave it here and then have you bring it in the morning. I can do the lettering in the classroom before our event starts. Is that okay? Uh, yeah, it's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's any anything more for us to do here. Phew. <laughs> you say that like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Uh, no, it's not that. I'm just glad that we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little bit concerned at the time. I need to start making dinner soon. Ah. So... You don't have any time left? I was secretly hoping we would have extra time after finishing the work. Well... Yuri thinks to herself. I, I think it would be too irresponsible for me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. And... More, the important thing is that we got everything done, right? Yeah. So, I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering her things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. It sounded like she really gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean that this is the last time it can happen. Once Yuri packs up, I walk her out of the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem. I'm glad I was able to help. 
Uh, just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then, weary fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait. I kind of say that without thinking. Uh, about today. It's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted. Because we can do this again. Whenever you want, you can come over or we can go hang out somewhere. Uh, I forgot you don't like going out much. I stumble over my words. Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Anyway. I, you know what I'm trying to say, so... You're very thoughtful, John. Yuri sticks, takes a step closer to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. I kind of like that about you. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? But I don't even get a chance as Yuri suddenly pulls back. Sayuri! Oh! 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 Uh oh. Uh, hi, John. Sorry. Just now, we weren't... <laughs> it's okay, John. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, um. Well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Aw, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry. But we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so... That's fine, right? Of course! Sayuri beams. Yeah, so... I'll see you tomorrow. Jeez! <laughs> just hauled ass. Clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. Sayuri waves goodbye after her. Sayuri? I thought you didn't want to come over today. <laughs> well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me. So I had to come here and see it for myself. Uh oh. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Yuri? I wouldn't exactly call it fun. And how close you got to her? Oh, you have no idea. It makes me really happy. <sighs> and sometimes I get called a perv. Thanks a lot, Shadow. Thank you for making me look like an angel. That you've made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Oh, is she crying? Oh, oh, tears start to fall down Sayuri's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, John? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart's splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. Jeez. Oh, it must be so much better if I could just disappear. Sayuri, don't say that. It's true. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. Wait, Monica. I should just... Monica? Monica was right about what? Sayuri. What I said before is true. I'm not going... I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't a burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I would, wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But... Sayuri looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayuri? I'm scared that... that I might like you more than you like me. Oh, there we go. There we go. Sayuri? It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. John. I like you so much that I want to die. Oh, jeez. Don't, don't, 
go saying that, please. Don't make it awkward. That's how I feel. And, and... That's enough, Sairi. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I'd set my hand down Sairi's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I'd always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sairi, Sairi nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give you. Oh, jeez. Why would you... God, why would you make me, make me make this choice? You can take Sairi and Shadow can have Knife Girl. <laughs> Now, the problem here is that she didn't want it to go like that. She didn't want it to, like, excuse me. She only wanted to stay as friends. So, I, God, how do I do that? How do I? Have... Well, what sucks even more is I don't even have the coin of fate with me. But weighing the options, I have no, uh, apparently known Sairi much longer. It's just that... I don't know, we've known Sairi longer, but Yuri has totally got the hots for us. For me. I don't know why I said us, but... Now the downside of this is... If Yuri ends up seeing Sairi and me together... I get the feeling she is going to pull out that knife and go stabby stabby all yonder simulator on us. You have the chat of destiny? I wouldn't exactly call it the chat of destiny. Cray will be stab stab, yeah. Just in case. <laughs> Yuri is fine. I seriously doubt she would go all yonder. She freaking sucked the f blood out of my finger. And had mood lighting and candles. What do you call that? Alright, we gotta go with the, uh, the childhood friend. <clears throat> but given that how this is kind of a, a visual novel, I'm pretty sure it's probably gonna end up happening like multiple paths anyway, so... Mm. Why not? You just didn't suck the blood out of your dick. That's a very good point. That's a very, very good point. But we're just going to go with this. I love you. Huh? Those are my true feelings. So there's no way you could like me more than I like you. I should have realized it sooner. But spending time with everyone at the club. Making new friends. And having fun with you every day. 
Help me realize that you're truly the most important person to me. That's why I'll accept any of your burdens. As long as we continue like this every day, with you by my side, then, I'm, then I know we'll both be happy. John. Aww. Suddenly, Sari wraps her arms tightly around me. John, is this really okay? Yeah. I hold Sari in my arms and pull her closer. You'll never have to let go of me again. Then so we hear the pitter patter of Yuri's feet coming in, just like stab it, stab. I love you, John. I want to be with you forever. Oh, me too. I feel Sari's grip around me weaken a little bit. What is this, Sari? <laughs> then she drops the cancer bomb. I have cancer. Oh, that would be a real dick punch. Uh, I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why? Even now? Why won't the rain clouds go away? They're not going. Up. They're not going away at all. It's okay, Sari. It might take some time for things to get better again. But no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. Oh, that would be a real punch to the gut it has, uh, has cancer. You two would definitely say that at the same time. God, you two. Anyways. That's all that matters right now. Okay. I trust you. Sairi and I slowly release each other. So, I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our first date, huh? <laughs> what are you saying? I don't want to think about those things, you know? I want everything to be the same as it always has been. Even if we really are a couple. I don't know if I can handle any anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I understand. We'll go at whatever pace suits you best. Hey, John. Sarah gazes at me once again, smiling sadly. Even if I get really, really sad, this is the best thing for me, right? Huh? I don't really understand what Sari means by that. Are you saying that this is making you feel sad, Sari? I... I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. It felt like a bunch of thorns when you told me you loved me. But that's why I want to trust you. You know what's best for me. Yeah. I do. That's my promise. To say that, but in reality, I never felt more uncertain when it comes to society. I know that I love her, and she loves me. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Saria's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I'll be doing this, something more, or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back the way we were. They were. Is that what Sari meant by not wanting anything to change? I don't know. But I know that I'll give it everything I've got. Sari is the most, Im most important person to me. I'll do whatever it takes to have a happy future with her. <coughs> My throat's getting dry. It is the day of the festival. Of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sari. But Sairi isn't answering her phone. Excuse me. I considered going to her house to wake her up, but decided that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. The banner Yuri and I painted is dry, and I gently roll it up to take it with me. 
She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to get not to forget anything, and I reassured, reassured her. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. More excited about it, uh, more excited for it to be over than so I can spend time with Sairi and Yuri at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. John, you're the first one here. Thanks for being early. Oh, that's funny. I thought I'd, at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. These they must be the ones she prepared that has all the poems we were performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be so that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sairi with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You thinking on days this important she try a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sairi told me yesterday. That sound like feel awful. Knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. You can always go back. <laughs> should take a little responsibility for her, John. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yet. What? You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Wait, what? She knows? Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. And then you think you thought that uh, Sairi was a stalker. Monica knows all, apparently. I'm the club president, after all. But, I stammer, embarrassed. Did Sairi really tell her about it that quickly? That we're a couple now? Didn't really plan on bringing it up with anyone yet. Jeez. You don't know the full story at all, so don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Eh? Wait, is the music on? Why is there no music? Anyways, Monica's being as friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill down my spine hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. She bucked Sairi. Grab one of the pamphlets, lay down on the desks. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this would definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flip through the pages. <coughs> I see each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuki's and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flip to Sairi's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. That's one I haven't read before. Holy shit. Get out of my head. 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 What is this? Get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It never stops moving. Kind of like freaking shining up in here. What's going on? What is this? Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. John? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. <clears throat> the poem feels completely different from everything else in Sairi's written. But more than that... Uh, I changed my mind. I'm gonna go get Sairi, so... Uh, well, alright. Try not to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself! Monica calls, out, calls that out after me. I quicken my pace. <laughs> All work and no play makes John a dull boy. 
What was I thinking? Should I try to look a heart bit harder for Sairi? It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or wake her up. Even the simple gesture of walking her to school makes her really, uh, really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs and what I want to give her. I reach Sairi's house and knock on the door. Suddenly, Yuri walks past me out the front door. I don't expect an answer, and she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I opened the door and let myself in. <sighs> okay, this is getting tense. Sairi? She's really a heavy sleeper. I swallow. Can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking up in her own house. That really is something that a boyfriend would do, isn't it? In any case, it just feels right. She better be dressed. I swear to God, if I wake her up and she's naked, that's gonna get that's gonna get really weird. Outside Sairi's room, I knock on her door. Sairi, wake up, dummy. There's no response. Really didn't want to have to enter a room like this. Excuse me. It's kind of a isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Jesus Christ. Whoa. Okay. I just like spit water all over the couch. Hang on. Add a towel right here. Holy, what, what is this? An error, an exception has occurred. File game script check RPY line 307. C trace back text for details. Wait, is that an actual thing? Open my files. What the hell? All right, hang on. It's there. Trace back, trace back. Whoa, wait a second. There are two files here. Three that are just uh, just modified. Uh, there's a trace back, and there's a picture said "Happy Thoughts." All right, let's look at the uh, let's see uh, notepad. Let's see if I can bring this up. Hang on. There's the traceback file here, and then there's the this here, which I have absolutely no clue that, what that is. We're gonna look at the um, the traceback file though, and uh, window capture. Sorry, but an uncut exception occurred. 
while running game code. Set. Restart top context. Oh geez, I didn't break anything, did I? Hold on a sec, I can f probably fix this, I think. Actually, you know what? This will probably be a lot easier if I just deleted her. She's the one who's making this difficult. Well, here goes nothing. What the hell? Oh, jeez, I didn't break anything, did I? Hold on a sec, I can probably fix this, I think. Actually, you know what? This probably be a lot easier if I just deleted her. Wait, who is this? Open up happy thoughts. All right, hang on. Happy peeps. Have happy what? What the fuck is this? Okay, that's creepy. <sighs> so wait, is this actually doing it in the game files as I'm playing this? Okay, hang on, you gotta see this too. Um, there's a folder here. This is characters, right? Monica, Natsuki, Yuri. Sayuri is apparently gone. I would assume that she would be in here. And whatever did this apparently deleted her. Yeah, that is really elaborate. Holy crap. Alright, anyways, back to this. <clears throat> what the hell? Yeah, my hand's shaking right now. What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Sayuri wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I suppress the urge to vomit. Oh yeah, really play it out, you two. Jesus Christ. Just yesterday, I told Sayuri I would be there for her. I told her I know what's best and that everything will be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Confessing to her? I shouldn't have confessed to her. That's not what Sayuri needed at all. She even told me how painful it is for others to care about her. Then why did I confess to her and make her feel even worse? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My thoughts, my swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. <laughs> if I just spent more time with it. Can I change the, uh... I probably could. I actually get the feeling if I choose the other choice anyways. I don't know. If I just spent more time with her. Walked her to school. Remained friends with her like it always had been. And I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I can do to bring her back. This isn't some game where I can restart and try something different. Um. It kind of is. But I get the feeling the game is not going to let me try something different. 
I only had one chance, and I wasn't careful enough. And now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. I'm making up game characters. <laughs> Nothing in my life was worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed from me. And now, I can never take it back. Never. 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 Whoa! 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 What? Okay, why is whatever what happened to Sayori is now like. What is this? Can I. Hang on, can I go back and ch uh, pick the other choice? Wait, is that it? Is that really it? Is that the, like, or can I just? Uh, why is this like all jumbled? It's not over. So what do I pick then? Do I pick what this is, or do, uh, do I start from where I hit new game? Okay. What? Wait, why is the music all messed up? Oh wait, is this what you mean by it's kind of like new new game plus? I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious from any attention she might draw to herself. The girl is Sevril Halele. My neighbor and good friend since we were children, and her name doesn't even come up. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently and get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase me after chase after me like this, I must feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sibley Ogidna crash up to me. <laughs> How is it I get yelled at for breaking games and John is praised? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just lucky, I guess. What? Whoa, 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 what's going on? any other mornings are usually the worst being surrounded by people by couples and friend groups walking to school together meanwhile I've always walked to school alone I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that But I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content getting on by the a get getting by on the average, while spending my free time on games and anime. There's always the anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There aren't really any that interest me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to d want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. John? <laughs> eh? I'm assuming that was supposed to happen. 
but I am kind of scared. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save right here. So we'll... they're gone. My two saves are the files are gone. Did it delete my save files too? Goodness, I told him to expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. Really need to get a bad computer. <laughs> I'm not you. We do, we do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class, smart, beautiful, I like, yeah, this is the same thing I said, but it wasn't in the classroom, this was back in the, uh, in the club, uh, club room. Basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me feels so, feels gen, so genuinely feels a little... What did you come in here for, anyway? I'm talking about deleted save files, this is a fresh run? Jesus Christ. Alright, I'm just gonna have to roll with it then. I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? Uh, I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? <laughs> about that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? Quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics run. What was that? I just heard something. I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd rather much take something I'd personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you, deci uh, did you just decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. Chicken, remember how you told me that it's been a while since you've heard me panic bark? Yeah! A literature club? Literature? That sounds kind of... dull. How many members do you have so far? Um... <laughs> kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know? Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. Is the name of this game really Doki Doki Panic? Yeah, I'm about to say. <laughs> oh, look, the deleted girl is going to crawl out of my screen. Oh, I swear to I seriously hope not. If that does happen, I am so sorry. I'm going to miss you all, and I hope you remember me. Please remember fun things at me about me. And besides, a member's a member, right? Panic at the Doki. Did she? Did Monica say she? Hmm. Hey, John. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Uh... I mean, I guess, but... In that case... Is there any chance you could do me a big favor? Do you a solid? I won't ask you to join, but... If you could at least visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please? Um... I guess I have no reason to refuse. Because how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I, I guess I could check it out. Ah, uh, awesome. No dying before Frank I five. <laughs> You're really sweet, John, you know that? Yeah, it's nothing, really. Shall we go then? I'll look for the other materials another time. You're more important. Am I? 
Am I really? And thus today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica in her irresistible smile. See, in the first run, quote unquote first run, it was today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. But apparently, that doesn't exist anymore. I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. I'm back, and I brought a guest with me. <laughs> that is making me jump every single fucking time it does that. A guest? Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, John. Hmm. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. So he thinks. Oh, God. So, let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I'm not. Oh, I kind of wish I was. Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude, who's whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Increase headphone volume. Well, the lights are off. The only thing lit in this room right now is the laptop screen and the TV screen, which I have the OBS and the chat and the, the game files on. So it's, uh, it's doubling as a uh, as a second monitor. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. It, it's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like, like, like blah, 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 someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. See, I'm trying to speak normally, but my heart is going a mile a minute right now. I'm very tense. So I ran into John in the classroom, and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica! Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to, well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Oh, no cupcakes? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, John? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. Must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are interested in putting out all the effort into something to all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. Ugh, excuse me. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Natsuki reluct reluctantly agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. A little, a little freaked out? I'm the one playing this damn thing! You're getting nervous, Jesus Christ. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these two. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down a teapot in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry. The teachers gave us this gave us permission. 
After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, that's not... You would impress me if she starts pulling out a knife like, See this cool thing? Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I can enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, John, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. This story more fucked up than my hitman kill orders. <laughs> Manga. Wait, what should I? Considering how uh, anything, what kinds of you? Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, manga. I quietly mutter to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. But anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces a cup of her rim of a teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way she, her, lies, her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? I get the feeling this is the writer of the game speaking through these characters. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Oh, have you now? Uh, I read a horror book once. Next twist, she's gonna put on a hockey mask and come at me with one of her knives. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> I expected that from you, Yuri. It suits your personality. Oh, is that so? Really, if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful in changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about the cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? I left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. Looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, yeah, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you show them sometime? N no! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ugh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest reaches of your of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you wish to share, if you maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Eh. I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I just got an idea. How about this? Hmm? 
Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Mon Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. And the next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um... Uh... I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well... I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for all of us to participate together. I did decide to take on responsibility of Vice President, after all. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well, John? Uh, hold on. Uh, there's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that you've reached the most important topic, I bluntly come forth and what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Don't you! Get out the door! Get out the door while you still can! Before everything else starts fucking up! Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made, my de made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... I lost my train of thought. All three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But... I'm sorry. I thought... Hmm. Eh? The girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I guess I need to tell you the truth, John. The thing is... We don't have enough members to form yet to form an official club. We need four. I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. If we don't find one more before the festival... Ah, uh, it's just like k -On. You gotta have four members before it can be, uh, like, official. Otherwise, it's gonna, um, they're gonna close it. I am, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? Thing is, we had enough members, but now I can't remember who that was. <laughs> I would feel terrible for letting everyone know, everyone down in this situation. Besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls, oh, they're just going to be uh, more than just writing poems. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club and all rise for my coronation. One by one, the girls' lies, uh, eyes light up. Oh my goodness, really? You really mean that, John? Yeah. It could be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if you really just left, if you really just left after all this, I would be super pissed. John, I'm so happy. You can be a, you can become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to make give you a great time, okay? Yeah. Uh, thanks, I guess. I'm at this point I'm probably leaning more toward Monica now that I know Yuri is probably a yonder. Okay everyone. However, I think if I end up going with Monica, Yuri's just gonna come out and kill her. Oh wait. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Left her hanging. Did Monica kill her? I get the feeling it's not me killing her, it's somebody else. And I'm just happy to, like, happen to... I don't know. I don't think I'm the one pulling the tr trigger, but I'm sure as hell aiming it. I think with that we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Every rem everyone remember tonight's assignment? Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. John, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. 
and I really impressed the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills. I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue the chit-chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait. With that, I depart the club room and make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. No the fuck it won't! I'm gonna kill somebody else and I have absolutely no idea who it's gonna be, how it's gonna happen, or when. And I guess it starts with writing a poem tonight. Might as well be my will. You've unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? A dream. I was wandering an abandoned warehouse at night. I was lost, looking for an exit. I don't know why I'm reading this like Morgan Freeman. I don't know why. It just like came out of nowhere. <clears throat> I was, <laughs> I was wandering an abandoned warehouse at night. I was lost, looking for an exit. I just wanted to go home. I came upon a, a huge empty room. Its ceiling, walls, beyond deep blackness. My steps were in quick order to hurry to the other side, or to a wall, anything. Suddenly the ground was no longer bef beneath my feet. I stepped into a hole of undeterminate width. I fell for a good five seconds before crashing into warm water. Figuring out which way was up, I surfaced myself. The air was humid, and the sounds of my splashing reverberated endlessly. My vision was completely swallowed by the dark. With one hand, I could feel the damp metal wall of the container. My lungs were already getting tired. I get the feeling when this is all said and done, all of these poems are going to make a shitload of sense. Alright, I'm just going to go about this like the whole same uh, same kind of process, psychological, uh, before I do that. No, dumb. Yeah, let's go ahead and overwrite that. Alright. Discomfort, clumsy, net young, shiny, lipstick, unstable, promise, nibble, heartbeat, extraordinary, extraordinary. Yeah, it's a Monica apparently doesn't have a little uh, little figure here. It's always been the other girls. I don't know why. I guess apparently I can't get to the uh, get get with with the president. Unending cheeks, entropy, disoriented vitality, empty disaster, games, spinning lust, vitality, imagination, cute whirlwind. Dazzle, electricity, misery, vanilla, melancholy, twirl, dream, electricity, bliss, horror, pout, party, word, waterfall, giggle, smile, climax, sunset, sunset, death, climax, rain, cloud, marshmallow, mirage, color, candy, bunny, tenacious, joy, email, jumpy. All of a sudden, the words are the words of the in Civil War that activate the Winter Soldier. <laughs> Awaiting your orders. Alright, what was I thinking? Alright, uh... Joy. Raindrops. Time. Vi vivacious? Vivacious? How would I pronounce that? Somebody look that up for me, please. Starscape. Hop. Puppy. Together. Insight. Luckily. Lucky. Playground. Time. Extreme. Shopping. Nature. Ribbon. Beauty. Explode. Heart, Valentine, Whisper, Holiday, Holiday. Socks, Landscape, Hair, Analysis, Fester, Ambient, Pleasure, Aftermatch, Feather, Boop. 
vivacious. Did I say that right? I forget, what does that mean? Uh, full of light, oh, okay. Logging, rusted, furnace, daybreak, 17, but 9, 9, homecoming, one freight car. <laughs> Awaiting instructions. <laughs> Alright, what was I at? Pleasure. Papa, eternity, childhood, embrace, sunny, swimsuit, dark, uncanny, skirt, wonderful, eternity. Forgive, universe, destiny, poof, unrequited, sparkle, silly, hurt, cry, desire, unrequited. Lollipop, judgment, precious, shame, fickle, awesome, mouse, charm, massacre, clouds. Love, contamination, meager, vivid, breath, incapable, philosophy, calm, grief, pink, vivid. Dance, inferno, daydream, adventure, agonizing, friends, summer, infallible, sadness, prayer, summer. Tragedy, milk, existence, despise, cheer, hopeless, hope, melody, special, strawberry. I'm kind of craving strawberries right now, I don't know why. Whistle, essence, question, congruent. Vacation, bed, memories, laugh, infinite happiness. Vibrant, wrath, rainbow, family, suicide, depression, anime, disarray, intellectual, lazy, anime. Scars, treasure, anxiety, play, vertigo, effulgent, 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 I think it's effulgent, fireworks, amazing, strained robes. Bubbles, headphones, defeat, blanket, passion, cage, de ter determination, kawaii, kitty, fear, kawaii, frightening, misfortune, sweet, fluffy, a tone, uncontrollable, sticky, music, kiss, romance, music, covet, disown, bouncy, fantasy, secretive, tears, portrait, fireflies, feather, pure, pure. I think most of those words are probably for, uh, Natsuki. Hi again, John. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Ooh, what the frick? What the fuck was up with the face? Keeping your promise, John. I hope this isn't, this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. What the frick? I'm scared. I am very scared right now. Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. Did I miss something? Yeah, uh, Yuri's face glitched a little bit, and then Natsuki's, like, image glitched a little bit. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Um, why is she in front of the text box? Natsuki certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps a manga collection in a club room. M M Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. I'm sorry, John. 
We'll make sure you put your comfort first, okay? Yuri shoots Nats Yuri shoots Natsuki with a disappointed glance. Wait a minute. Is the background tilted? Also, I'm noticing different pitch changes in the sound in the music. Um, anyway. Now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have an interest in picking up a book to read. Well, can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm in this club now, so it only feels right for me to do something like that, if you ask. Wait. I didn't mean it like that. Is it me or is she a lot closer than she usually is, too? She's, like, taking up the, like... She's just closer. Uh, if you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. Uh, no, it's not that, Yuri. Welcome to Doki Doki, where it's all cupcakes and rainbows. Oh, I seriously doubt that. I want to try and be a part of this club. So don't even... Even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you wanted me to. Are you sure? I just felt like, well, as vice president and all, that I should help you get started on something you might like. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I don't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it shouldn't keep your attention. It should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know. Hey, what, what was it? The what's the uh, literature, literature and letter, uh, lettery? Discuss it if you want it. The, this is how is this girl accidentally being so cute when she's not glitching out? Even she even picked out a book that she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read at your own pace. Okay, now that I notice that the background is tilted, my head is tilted trying to, like, correct it, and it's kind of making me, like, making my head a little bit cricked. I look forward to hearing what you think. Oh, there we go. It fixed itself. That was weird. Now that everyone settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in the book, and I can't help but notice her intense expression when she's waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rum rummaging around in the closet. <clears throat> I hear Natsuki utter, uh, utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. You looking for something in there? Whoa. Oh, shit. You guys are the worst, I swear to god. Fucking Monica. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection to organize if someone else just keeps messing it up? Monica Shad, you're not the one playing it. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be sleeping tonight. Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga? You read manga, right? Uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things you can't admit you're really into until you figure out what the other person's where the where the other person stands. Um, down it's just a game. Stop it! You're not helping. 
How did you know that anyway? That's just plain mean. That is just plain mean, you guys. I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, I see. There's a lone volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box set she's admiring. Parfait Girls? It's a series I've never heard of in my life. Probably means... It probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. If you're gonna judge, you can don't do it with, through the glass on that door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, I, hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, John. Don't judge, but play. In fact, Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm gonna show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Ah, uh, I stare at the cover. Features four girls, colorful attire, striking anime, feminine poses. It's exceedingly moe. Don't just stand there. What? Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the window sills. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me there to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Uh, why is that? I guess it's easier to be close together like, like this. Mm. The, don't just say that. You'll make me feel weird about it. Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close next, uh, this close to her either. Not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space, where while she hopes I won't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I already finished the series. Natsuki Mayuri, the she has a last name. Also, welcome to the stream, but no spoilers, please. Thank you very much. Also, welcome to the stream. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh... I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. Looks like she's about to... Looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice of life affair. Hang on before... Watching this Jihan run while you still can, uh, in a heartbeat. I grew out of these, since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. Duh. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read? Well, I, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince one of my any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Hmm? Hmm? You don't 
Um, that's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Uh, sorry. Also, how are you guys doing that on the chat? That's kind of baffling me and concerning me at the same time. Just on a uh, uh, streamer standpoint, not in the context of this gameplay right now. Hmm. Like I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. Well, you kind of are. Aren't you still a first year? Can't even bring it up to them without them being all like, eh, you still haven't grown out of that yet? Makes me want to punch him in the face. Ugh. I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also in it, into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated toward the other losers over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep up in my own room. Sweet Christmas. Anyways. My dad would beat the shit out of me if he found this? What?! At least it's safe in here in the club room. Except Monica's kind of a jerk about it. And I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't I? Didn't it? I mean, here I am, reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Mm. So... <laughs> Jeez, that's enough. Are you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flipped the page. Time passes. Natsuki is strangely quiet now. I glance over at her. She's sleeping. Looks like she started to fall asleep. Hey, Natsuki? Yeah? Suddenly... Natsuki collapses straight into me. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh jeez. Natsuki, are you okay? Here. Monica reaches into her bag and pulls out some kind of protein bar. She throws it in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. She snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears out the wrapper. I told you not to give... Hmm. So it doesn't even finish the sentence before stuffing it into her mouth. Don't worry. <laughs> That's an understatement. Don't worry, John. She's fine. It happens every now and then. That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. Anyway, why don't we all share poems now? Who should I show my poem to first? Because why not? Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. I can trust her opinion to be fair. Hmm. 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 Yuri stares at the poem. The minute passes more than enough time for her to finish reading it. Um. Oh. S sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Uh, um. It's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? 
Just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Uh, so it's that bad? No! Did I just raise my voice? I... Sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. Couldn't help but notice it's been several minutes and we haven't really, really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um... It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. Having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize... Oh, excuse me. Hmm. And new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both style and expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There's so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. <coughs> okay, I think I'll be able to talk normally. Hopefully. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. That's going to be a little bit biased, though. Biased? How? Uh, um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. Not sure if Yuri's apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles uh, dreamily as if it's a, that's a rare opportunity for her, which itself is kind of funny. After all, this isn't, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Go to the light. Okay, this is like the last time. Tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have stood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Calm, breathing air out of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. I'm sorry I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But you took a long time to read. Ah. Well, I just don't read script very often. I usually, I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it's, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. You into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, this story isn't about ghosts. Uh, isn't about a ghost at all, John. Really? I must have totally, I must have totally missed a point. Well, I suppose you only did glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express her own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. Yeah. <sighs> Excuse me. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. You always plan. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining piece of place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I haven't even thought of that. It's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll just have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Alright, let's go with Natsuki next. Hoping her face doesn't glitch out like it did. 
Hmm? Okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um... Natsuki rereads my poem. Never mind, I don't like giving you my opinion. Uh, then what's the point of sharing in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Uh, in fact, I remember how I said I wanted to re remember how I said I wanted to read your poems. That's what I had in mind when writing this. I wanted to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours, like Monica said. Uh, well, it would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me something, some dumb poem, and make me go, "Ha! Well, it's not that great, but you let." Uh, but let me show you what real rich literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. Wait, what? I hope you're happy. So, in other words, you're saying you liked it? Mm. Natsuki's retort gets caught in her throat. <sighs> you're so... You just... You don't understand anything, do you? I already told you, you don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self-important. I'm pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she's liked my poem. And in any case, you still need to sh still bleh. You still need to show me yours, right? Yeah, fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Yeah. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well... Because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. Is it because of the point of the poems for people to express themselves? Time for my mod report, nothing out of the ordinary here. Yeah, sure, you say that. Your writing style wouldn't make wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. Like when I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everything around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more word on the weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling like it la like bleh, it helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. Glad you learned something. I didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Oh, that was her. Uh, yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with the last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki's feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. And last but not least, Monica. Hi, John. Have a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right. I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much, be I'm much better off going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, John. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? <sighs> that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. I like it, John. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> oh, jeez. No, no. 
kind of makes me think of something Natsuki would write. And she's a good writer, too. So take that as a compliment. <laughs> yeah, sure. If you say so. Yep. If you're interested in Natsuki, then always always keep a snack on for you, on you. She'll cling to you like a puppy. <laughs> Natsuki's dad doesn't give her mu- Natsuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave any food in the house, so she's in a fussy mood pretty often. Yeesh. Why would you tell me that? But sometimes she just loses all of her strength and shuts down. Like earlier. This is just a guess, but I think she's so small because her malnutrition is interfering with her adolescent growth. But hey, some guys are into petite girls too, you know? Sorry, just trying to look at the bright side. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in the wall. But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantic, uh, frantic, frantically glance at my surroundings. But my burned eyes can no longer see the color. Are there others in this room? Wait. Wait. This was different. This was very different from before. But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glance at my surroundings, but my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in this room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scram scrawling playing tricks on my ears the room begins to crinkle closing in on me the air i breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs i panic there must be a way out it's right there he's right there swallowing my fears i brandish my pen her hole in the wall poem was very different the first time around i remember that this is almost like a continuation. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's a very free form if that's what you call it. So I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. Oh, excuse me. That's a lot of poems that... That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, that one could be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I've had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. It's her. It's her this entire time. Okay, you don't have to confirm it. This is just a theory that I'm running off of. She's still a character in a game, but she's kind of like self-aware. And she's using the game to manipulate it and to kind of reach out to me. So this is all her. She is the one who killed Sairi and deleted her from the game. And I think all of these glitches is either her or the crack she's made from deleting Sairi. Don't answer if, that, if I'm uh, right or wrong, by the way. This is just me running out on a theory. I will have it find out if I have it answered as I'm, I'm assuming it'll, have, it'll be answered as I go on. So don't answer me that. It's just me rambling on. My brain's going all Jimmy Kudo right now. I mean, I kind of got the, the, the hint because she 
broke the fourth wall in the previous, uh, in the previous, like the, what was that, like the second day where she mentions about, um, about saving my game. Anyways, it's been influencing my poems a bit. It's like, it seems like she's gotten self-aware and what she's writing in the poems is like reflecting that. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. Kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's coming on, kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story and your brain gets too fixated on a specific point, if you try so hard to make it perfect then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice to, for today. Thanks for listening. Whew. I guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. Uh-oh. The music's doing it again. It's getting all, like, weird. It's a good theory that why is she a character once she get deleted to- Well, she was in the list of characters, so I don't know. Anyways. I like the part where John said, hey, like, let me just guess that it could be blank and then the audio cut out until he finished. <laughs> it's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I end up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica's writing something in her notebook. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They're gingerly exchanging sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch their ex each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Huh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, uh, thanks. Yours is... cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant... language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but I really didn't come out nice at all. Um... Well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Monica liked it, and John did too. Oh, don't bring me in on us. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect to change it anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. <clears throat> and John liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you two were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? That's not what I... Uh... You, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that John appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Huh? And how did you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Ugh. Oh, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as John started showing up. N Natsuki? Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! Ticking at your own... 
taking out your own insecurities on others like that. You're really acting like as young as you look, Natsuki. Me, Lucas, talking, you want to be an edgy bitch? Edgy. Sorry that my lifestyle is too much for someone like your mental age to comprehend. See? Just say something that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves as they graduate in middle school, you know? You want to prove anything, stop harassing each other, hassling others with your sickening attitude. If you think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute, the only thing I've got to do is how hard you try. Whoa, be careful what you cut yourself with that edge, Yuri. Oh, my bad. Yuri, dude, don't... Wait, what? D did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. Let John hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. Uh... Suddenly, Yuri turned towards me as if she noticed I was standing here. John? She just just something to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. What the fuck? Whoa, 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 what? Um. Fuck it. It's not letting me pick Yuri. It's not letting What? 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 Hi. I am so scared right now. Um, hey John. Why don't we step outside for a little bit, okay? Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have got tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. <laughs> Some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be more, a little more assertive sometimes. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly, Nazi runs out of the classroom. And quickly runs away. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. Uh oh. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth on her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. Uh oh, did she say something about her, uh, Nazi's dad or something? I have a game request if it does exist, but Doki Doki VR. Fuck no! Plus, I don't have a VR. I, I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. John? Please don't hate me. Please? I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. What, you gonna wipe her memory? Hmm. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Hmm. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. You can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a bit, little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Hmm. Well, I'm vice president, so... 
Please let me take that responsibility today. Kind of sounds like you don't want me to round for something, Yuri. Uh, it's not that. It's not that. I just... Didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with John. Oh, don't bring me into this. I swear to God, do not bring me into this. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble. on that bombshell we're gonna call it here holy sweet fucking Christmas and you're damn right I will end it on a damn pan panic bark oh sweet Christmas I don't know if I can be able to handle this Yeah, you guys weren't kidding when this thing was going to turn sideways. Jeez. See, it's one thing to play a game like Resident Evil where you know you're in the like in the atmosphere and everything is scary and all that shit. But for this, a game like this and it starts doing shit like that is very unsettling. Which is brilliant by the way. I am both terrified and interested at how this will develop, but I get the feeling I am going to lose sleep over this and just how fucked up this is going to get. Anyways, that is it for tonight. Oh my god, we won't get back to this until next Wednesday, which I think is more than enough time for me to kind of really process what the hell just happened. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll pick, a, pick this up again for, for next Wednesday. I don't know how much further I have for, uh, for, uh, I'm sure Mike and, uh, Tin Cap and Mags know how far I am, I am in this. And, hello, what's this? Oh, I see what you've been doing glitch text generator that's just mean anyways yeah we'll pick that up again next Wednesday I don't know how much further I have I'll probably I'm assuming I'm probably about halfway at least halfway about 40 Man, I'm gonna put more shit to this, to this, to this, to this to go through. You can't me. Mm. I'm gonna bark. I'm gonna panic bark. I swear to God, that one of these sessions, I'm gonna panic bark. I'm gonna lose my damn mind, and it's gonna scare the shit out of me. Anyways, thank you for joining me tonight, and I will see you next week. I hope you guys have a uh, have a great weekend. Uh, I'll try to have one. 
uh, this is going to be on my mind. But at least I can be able to watch more of the uh, other Let's Plays from like Markiplier and Bowling Otter and uh, from Riku and all that. And probably Game Grumps as well. But um, yeah, thank you for joining me tonight. Uh, we'll pick it up again Wednesday. Questions, comments, or complaints that you would like me to know about or any suggestions you might have for me for future Let's Plays, Let's Tries, Johnny Versus, or WTF Gaming, head on over to that contact page and shoot them out to me or... Um, Shoot them out to me over there. Also, check out Batgwin, Diz, the Gaming Network on Mixer, as well as Oh Hey Mike K, Tin Cap, and Magonzo on their respective Twitch pages for more streams ranging from the interesting to the entertaining. Again, thank you for joining me tonight. You all have a great weekend, and I will see you next week. Take care. Love and hype. Life is good. Ish.